Okay, Alhamdulillah, we have finished with your CVP analysis for single product. Now, let's look at the tutorial question. Okay, new wear kasut Remberhat manufactures and sells a single product, uh, sport shoes, budgeted price and cost data for the year 20X1 appears below. So, you have, been, uh, you have the selling price per pair, okay, 25 ringgit. You have the variable cost per pair of the shoes. That includes your direct material, 11 ringgit, direct labor, 5 ringgit, manufacturing overhead, 2 ringgit and 50, and selling expenses, 1 ringgit and 30. So, at all this gives you 19 ringgit and 80 cent. So, that is your total variable cost per unit or per pair of shoes. Okay, you are being given the annual fixed cost. The manufacturing overhead of 192,000 ringgit and selling an admin overhead of 276,000 ringgit. So that gives you a total of uh, annual fixed cost 468,000. And then the budgeted sales unit is 105,000 pairs. So you are required to A. Determine the break-even point in pairs and value. Okay, B. Determine the margin of safety in pairs and value. C. Determine the number of pairs of shoes the firm would have to sell to earn 260,000 net profit before tax. So this, this is, you are looking at the target sales at a target profit. Part D of the question requires you, uh, mentions that the firm's factory manager believes that uh, direct labor costs might increase by 10%. So if this happens, what will be the break-even point in pairs? Okay. So that is, you are looking at the changes in your variable cost. Okay, if part E uh, of the question, so if 100,000 pairs of shoes were sold, what would be the firm's net profit before tax? So this one, you are looking at the net profit. Part F, in a drive to improve profitability, the firm is able to reduce selling and admin costs by 50,000. So if that happens, what will the break-even point in pass be? So now you are looking at the changes in your fixed cost. Part G asks you to describe three ways on how you can lower your break-even point. So let's, uh, I want you to do this first before you uh, listen to the explanation of the answers. Okay. I'm going to explain... Uh, Part A, okay, determine the break-even point in pass and value. So for this, you can use the equation technique. So put that sales less your total variable cost, less your total fixed cost gives you your net profit. And your selling price per unit times the unit sold minus your variable cost per unit times your unit sold minus your total fixed cost gives you a profit of zero. Because we know at break-even point, your profit equals to zero. So put all the figures in. So your selling price per unit is 25. So 25Q minus your 19.8Q just now. 19.8 is your variable cost, your total variable cost per pair okay, of shoes. Okay, next, minus your total fixed cost, 468,000, gives you zero. So, uh, you uh, try to solve this equation, okay, and then that will give you Q of 90,000 units or 90,000 pairs of shoes. That is in units. If you want to work that out in value, so you take 90,000 units times with your selling price per unit that is 25. So 90,000 times 25 gives you 2.25 million ringgit. You can also work that out using the contribution technique. Okay, if you are using the contribution technique, so you put in the formula that is your break-even point in units will be total fixed cost divided by your contribution per unit. Your total fixed cost is 468,000 divided by your contribution per unit is 25 minus 19.8 gives you 5.2. So you solve this also give you the same answer 90,000 units. And if you want to work that out in uh, your value or in RM, so you just divide that with your CS ratio. So your CS uh, is 0 0.208. You can work that out. You will get your CS ratio as 0 0.208. So that will give you a value of 2.25 million ringgit. Same answer as before. That means if you are using the equation technique or you use the contribution technique, both will arrive at the same answer. Okay. Part B of the question requires you to calculate the margin of safety. 
So margin of safety in units is the present sales minus the break-even sales. So you're currently, given in the question, you are operating at 105,000 pairs and then your break-even sales is 90,000 pairs. So you will get 15,000 pairs of shoes. That is your margin of safety in units. Okay. Uh, if you work that out in value, that will be 105,000 pairs just now times with your selling price per unit 25,000 pairs minus your break even. This one is you already work out in your part A of the question. So that gives you a margin of safety of 375,000 ringgit. Okay, part C of the question requires you to calculate the target sales to achieve your target profit. What is the amount of net profit that you desire? So you want to have 260,000 uh, ringgit of profit. So that will be, uh, so you just put that in your formula, total fixed cost plus your target net profit divided by your contribution per unit. So that will give you 140,000 pairs. Or you can use the equation, this you will arrive at the same answer. Okay, you can use the equation. Just put in the figures into the equation. The equation is sales minus your total variable cost minus your total fixed cost gives you your net profit. And now your net profit is 260,000. Part B of the question looks into if there were to be any changes in your variable cost. Now your direct labor increases by 10%. If your direct labor increases by 10%, your new direct labor cost will be 5 times 1.5. 1 or 110 percent gives you 5 ringgit and 50. So instead of 5 now your total labor cost your uh, your labor cost uh, per pair will be 5.5. So your new total variable cost is 20.30. Okay RM 20.30 that is your new total variable cost. So you can work out your new break even point. So now your total fixed cost divided by your selling price 25 minus your new uh, total variable cost per unit that is 20.3. So you will get your new break even point as 99575 pairs of shoes. Previously in part A we have 90,000 units or 90,000 pairs but now your um, break even increases to 99,575. Is this a good situation? So, this is not a favorable situation. Okay, why this is not a favorable situation? Because now, instead of you, you get, you reach your break even point earlier, now it becomes later. Not previously, if you reach 90,000, so 90,000 after that, you are making profit. Now, if you are producing, at 91,000, you are still making losses. Why? Because your break-even point increases to 99,575. Only after 99,575, then only the company will get profit. Okay? Part E of the question requires you to calculate the net profit using the... Uh, to calculate the net profit, so you can calculate it using the equation. So you just put in everything into the formula. Sales, again, the formula is total sales minus total variable cost minus total fixed cost gives you your net profit. Then you just will count how much is the net profit. So that will give you 52,000 ringgit. Part F of the question mentioned that if there were to be any changes in your total fixed cost, now your selling and admin cost decrease by 50,000. So if that cost decreases by uh, 50,000, what happens to your new selling and admin? And that will lead to your new total fixed cost. So your new total fixed cost now becomes 418,000. So you work that out, just change your new total fixed cost becomes 418,000. So you will get your uh, new BEP as uh, 80,385 pairs. So instead of 90, now your BEP decreases to 80,385 pairs. Is this good? So it is a good or favorable situation. Why? Because now you reach your BEP earlier. Instead of you reach at it at 90,000, now it, it, it becomes lower. After 80,385 pairs, now you are enjoying the amount of profit. So if you reach your BEP earlier, that is a 
good or favorable situation. Part G of the question asks you three methods on how you can lower your BEP. There are various methods or three of them will be increase your selling price, decrease your uh, fixed cost or you can decrease your variable cost. So that's all for your tutorial. Hopefully you get some clearer picture about your uh, CVP analysis for single product. Okay, thank you.